this is fairly rare. I mean, this is not something that happens a lot. I am certainly not an, an, an authority on on it, um, but it's basically an allergy to foods, but it's much more severe than a, the run-of-the-mill allergy. You truly can't be exposed to certain foods, and with Haley, it's a lot of foods. It, it makes it quite difficult for Haley and everyone else around her, whether it's, you know, it's not just eating, it's, you know, you can't have stuff just lying about. It's certainly hard for Haley because she's she's three. I mean, she's going to get into things. Before we were officially diagnosed with her disorders, it was, it was me, and I had no help. You want to play that now? Yeah. All right. Let's play. Ready? Do this. You remember? Here you go. Can you do it? That's big hero. Before we got the official diagnoses and were put in contact with people to provide the assistance that we needed to keep her safe, it was exhausting. And she did her schedule is very rigid. We basically live by her schedule. I was the one that stayed with her. I'm a stay-at-home mom now. And I spent my entire days in prayer and trying to keep her as safe as possible. It's almost I com I compare it to almost like military going out to on maneuvers. You have to plan for everything. It's frightening and it's frustrating when people don't understand what you're dealing with. And with F pies, it is a delayed reaction to the food. It can be four hours or more until the symptoms start to show. It's easy to just discount it. But you'll notice she's not tired, she's fidgety, and her color's leaving. She gets blue around her mouth, blue around her eyes, and she draws up her legs into a ball because it hurts. And that right there is the face of F-Pies. Right? You're good. You spend countless hours holding them and rocking them and trying to make it okay. You sleep on the floor beside the crib just in case. Mm -hmm. Just in case she vomits in her sleep or has a, a you know, a, a bad diaper in her, her sleep because you know she she's unaware of that stuff. And um, yeah, you're good. So I've been sleeping on the floor beside her crib. It's just, it's a lot he of background hurt. stuff. Let's see. He does hurt. He does hurt.